Welcome to Applied Education's online learning platform. I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes giving you an overview of the Certificate 4 in Bookkeeping course where you can access your assessments and resources. So first of all we've navigated to online.appliededucation.com.au Then we're going to go over to the far right and click Login. We'll put in our username. Now, of course, that will be emailed to you. Today, I'm just going to use an assessor account. And we click Log In. You'll notice under My Courses here, that'll show all the courses you're enrolled in presently. So let's go into this Certificate 4 in Bookkeeping. First of all, down the left, you'll notice all the units listed. You'll see there's a welcome area. There's a news forum. Now, if you want to post any questions, I recommend you go in there as well and post um, queries or problems and share with other students. Starting at the welcome, I recommend that this little tab here, if we scroll down it's quite long all the units to look at. If we hit this tab that will collapse the window so that I simply use this jump to to go to the relevant unit. Now even before I go to a unit, in the welcome we have instructions and suggested unit order although this is actually listed in the recommended unit order but it's not compulsory. We have the mild student version 19.7 that's about 300 megabytes so you need to download and install that and I also have here some online mild training that I've created they're about 100 megabytes each download and watch those. Now let's have a look at a unit let's say we're doing say a mild unit so I chose jump to there and chose the unit 402A establish and maintain a cash accounting system. Now in here we have uh, student activity files you can see here it's got jjv19.myo now you'll need to download by clicking on that file and it will ask you to download down the bottom so I'll hit save and that's closed now you, once you've downloaded that I recommend you create an assessment folder to put all those things in the student files are just files that you might use as you're going through the workbook which should be posted to you or you pick up in class. The next part is the assessment and you can see there again this will download, I'll hit open and you can see it's tried to open this assessment and um, we would work through that assessment. Now just choose another unit, let's say 405A, one of the payroll units. You can see the assessment is a Word document all right, again, it's just a matter of downloading the data files to the go with the workbook and the assessments. When you submit your assessments, don't do it through this portal for now. We'll get you to email them directly using the assessor at account. I hope you enjoy your course.